Hello game makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make objects follow the camera as seen here. Uh, the blue button is an object. Um, you might want to use it for like a, a main menu or some kind of uh, shop icon, whatever you want. Uh, the code is really easy to use and you can just copy and paste it into any object you have already without messing around. So without further ado, let's get into it. Recently I've seen a fair few people asking for help regarding this particular problem uh, that is making an object follow the camera. Uh, why would you want an object to follow the camera? Usually it's going to be for some kind of uh, buttons or like a, a menu or something uh, just that follows the camera around. Is this the best way to do that particular task? Uh, maybe not, but if you're a beginner, you want things to be as easy and as straightforward as possible. So rather than having you delete all your objects and do it another way, I'm going to show you how to easily make your objects follow the view without any jitter. So all I've got is I've got a basic room. Um, I've got one object that, that adds some trees so you can actually see us moving. Uh, I've got an object as a camera very basic camera system here and I have an object which is supposed to be a button and it's just a, a blue bar if we run the game then we'll see the the button at the start but when we move around it's just gonna stay in the same place so here's our game room there's the button oh no it doesn't follow whatever shall we do well, it's quite simple really. Um, if we go to the create event for this button, let's maximize it. Then we're going to create two variables. The first one is going to be called X difference. And it's going to be this button's X minus camera get view X view camera zero and the second variable is going to be very similar and it's just going to be for the y coordinate so what these two variables are is as soon as this button's created uh, it checks where the x of the button is and it checks how far away from the top left of the view that the x coordinate is and same for the y. Uh, if you don't know views are drawn from the top left so um, the camera get view x will get the leftmost coordinate for the view and camera get view y will get the topmost coordinate for the view which is basically the, the top left and all we're trying to do is we're going to use these two variables to make sure that we're always at our this particular button is always the same distance away from the top left of the view and all we need to do that is if we go into the step event let's make it larger we're going to say cx equals camera get view X view camera zero CY equals camera get view Y view camera zero again I'm only using one view and it's the first view which is view camera zero so these two variables are getting the X and Y of the view again. So now all we're going to do is we're going to do uh, X equals CX plus X difference and Y equals CY plus Y difference. So let's run the game. Uh, we should be able to move around as much as we want without any jitter and the button should follow along. And if it doesn't, it's going to be in trouble. Oh yes. 
And there we go. The button follows along perfectly. No problem. And this should be pretty easy to incorporate into your own games. It doesn't matter where you've placed your buttons. As long as you're checking where they are at the start when you create them. Then, and you're copying this code, then you are good to go. That's it. So I will catch you next time. Bye for now.